Last week, Siam Cement Group or SCG, led by CEO Kan Trakun Hun, organized Thailand's sustainable development event in Bangkok. It aimed to voice to large companies in Thailand to turn around to do business for long-term sustainability, focusing on the phrase, sustainable development is key success for business, and promote its importance as the only way for businesses to remain viable in the new modern world. Surin Pitsuwan, ASEAN Secretary General, said sustainable development is a crucial move, a must and not an option. He proposed to Thai and ASEAN firms about the subject with connectivity to environment care, global resource conservation, and their value realization. At the moment, only two Thai companies joined the Dow Jones Sustainable Indexes. The two include SCG and PTT, too few when compared to the rest of the world. Secretary General Su Rin also pinpointed past trading statistics that ASEAN members have not switched to sustainable development like Europe. It was illustrated that ASEAN exports to the world consist mostly of products from natural resources, such as minerals, which are in large quantity and not environmentally friendly. To move to developing sustainably, the region needs more innovation and technology with focus on more consistent research and development, or R&D. Dr. Bajon Stixon, president of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, or WBCSD, gave opinion that the world has to lean towards sustainable development through three key factors, urbanization, emerging business countries, and demographics. He said this trend is viable as the world population only increases while natural resources decrease. So we have inevitably a situation where the economy will change, where society will change, and the pressure on the environment will change. And this means that long term, we are looking at the world going forward, which has got limits. There are li we are having a resource-constrained world and a pollution-constrained world. And there is inevitably going to be competition for resources. And we can expect that environmental protection will also be a competitive issue. Uh, and uh, it will have impacts on trade. We can see that, for instance, in the climate negotiations, which is very much about economic issues, about who is going to pay for what. And what you can expect uh, is that there will be growing demands uh, to measure and report the impacts on ecosystems, on environment. That will, be, that will happen for countries and it will happen for companies. Dr. Stixon, an expert in sustainable development, indicated that the world is moving towards serious green conservation mode. It is astonishing to see large countries like China and India to develop green technology at a higher rate than the United States, the world's biggest economy. Now, the leading economies of, of this world uh, have realized that the picture that I'm painting uh, is a reality. And since a few years, two, three years, there is uh, what I call a green race going on a competition between the leading economies about who are going to be the leading suppliers of resource efficient, low polluting solutions, products, services uh, going forward. And if you want to win this green race, what you have to do is to transform your domestic market. You have to build demand for these solutions in your own market. You have to build through that scale and capabilities for exports. And if we look at some of the leading economies and see what they are doing. And I start with China, uh, because I believe China is about to become the leader in this green race. Uh, and uh, this uh, is a key part of the five-year plan that the, the Chinese government uh, 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 decided on earlier this year. 
Uh, and I, I have, for the last 12 years, been an official advisor to the Chinese government, to the cabinet, the state council on these matters. And uh, they are investing a lot in, the, uh, in this, for instance, on clean energy. China is today investing double the amount per year in clean energy than what the United States is investing. And they have taken the lead on solar and wind technology, for instance. And the changes go very fast, if you look at this. If I go back four years, four years ago, the uh, United States had a 46% market share on solar technology exports. China had three. Last year, China had 50% and the United States had 13. That's the change in four years. Dramatic change. It is now time for Thai people to commit sustainable development for daily, everyday life, such as sustainable economy. Businesses should grow while keeping in their minds the optimal utilization of world's resources for long-term benefit. Extreme natural disasters such as today have more than revealing to all eyes how excessive we have wasted away what the world has given to us to share. That's all the time for us in Business Report for today. Our thanks to you for watching it. Uh, and we can also follow us on a daily basis, Monday to Friday from 12 to 1 p.m. And please feel free as well to leave your comments and suggestions on our Twitter and Facebook page. Have a nice uh, rest of the day. And we're not going to And I'm Ong Anand Amatayakun. Swadikha. Swadikha.